The agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. I guess you've been down here a while. I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. You should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, and JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pak Atari, soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pak Atari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Qataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there's a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaro is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and a firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Ooh, uh... I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization, which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca, produce our own cocaine, where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Olivia. We came here, we bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, 
and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, boss of bosses, El Sueño. Tango, danger close. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Getting a position. Good to go. Enemy down. All right, we're all clear. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the Yo, supplies later. Yeah, we got hostiles. Later. We got a Sicario by the watchtower. I see a second target. Moving to position. Easy, come in. Okay, ready. Call the shot. Dropped him. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you! Pass, 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 we need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Let's get moving. The cartel ain't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. I'll drive.
up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. Here's target number five. Drone is up. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. Got it. Moving. Say the word. He's down. Moving to position. Ready. Call the shot. Okay, we're still good. Got it. Moving. Say the word. He's gone. All right, breathe easy. That was fucking close. Sé que alguien me escucha, cabrones. Sé que están ahí. Sí que escuchen bien. El Dios no perdona. Clear over here. Alguien ayúdeme a salir de aquí. There's a weapons case over here. Nice. Hola. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. I'll pilot. Entonces para cantar y Jasmine Hill deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, señor.
I got a weapons case here. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Polito is coming through. This will go nice with my booth. That's the rundown on Yuri and Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on their chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable, a love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, La Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. Ignacio Perez Cervantes, also known as La Plaga, the Plague. Head of security for Santa Blanca, and the little brother of El Muro. El Muro had him trained well. Paid off guys in Russia's Bodark Special Forces group to teach him combat tactics. Sent him to learn killing techniques from death squads in El Salvador and Honduras. Apparently, he was a good student. His favorite subject? Cutting off a person's face, then showing it to them. 
Back in the day, it used to be that the criminals hid and the good guys tried to find them. But La Plaga, he does everything he possibly can to be seen. The guy is a social media machine. He pays narco corrido bands to write songs about him. He has his own personal camera crew. This fuck even has his own YouTube channel. La Plaga is a walking recruitment message. Young people see what he has and want it. The guys want to join him. The girls want to get wifed up. It'd almost be funny to see a guy who spends three hours a day sending dick pics. Except half of what he posts aren't messages to his followers, but messages to his enemies. There's only one way to stop the plague from spreading. You cut it off from society, then watch it die out. Francisco Ricardo Munguia. El Muro. The Wall. The wall between me and my enemies. The wall between me and death. We were born hours apart in the same village. As boys, we were as poor as the rats that scrambled across our dirt floor. Our huts in the shadows of the hilltop mansions, where the narco bosses lived like conquerors. El Muro took a different path. He joined the army. Special forces. He rose through the ranks, helped to protect the local narcos, was paid in cocaine and money along with promotions. When we met again, Francisco hermano, why are you still in the army? You and me together, we could rule. We will protect each other as we did when we were boys. We will share like brothers. The Santa Blanca Security Forces. Run by El Muro, childhood friend and personal bodyguard to El Sueño. El Muro means the wall, as in no one gets over it, no one gets under it, no one gets around it. SBC Security Forces recruit hard and train harder. Instructors from Israel, South Africa, Russia, and unfortunately, even the good old US of A. Polygraphs, first of every month. Pass, you pick up your paycheck. Fail? Yeah. Don't fail. Even so, El Muro has a polygraph system of his own. These Sicarios, aka gunmen, get intense training in marksmanship, surveillance, driving. Two-thirds wash out to become... Hakones. The guys who make it get assigned to various regions as enforcers, guards for labs and shipments, hitmen. Some become drivers, surveillance specialists, spies, and torturers. Just below El Muro is Santa Blanca's head Sicario, La Plaga, the plague. You may ask, how does a show-off party boy rise to be the second in command of Santa Blanca security? Answer, spurn. La Plaga is El Muro's little brother, but don't kid yourselves. He's the nastiest motherfucker on the internet, and yes, I have been on 4chan. Don't worry, you'll see what I'm talking about.
got eyes on a tango. He's got a lot of background. I'm moving to position. Nomad, I've got Pat Katori on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I'm getting into a position. I have a position. problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you may be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Katari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. We're taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We're gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. Marking a captain. I'm open. Maybe we should keep the guns down. Make Clear. sure we don't scare How we doing? anybody. Hola, amigo. You hear anything about the cartel around here? Where they are, things like that. Gracias. Enemy activity Fucking nearby. Me, Dad. They're just as bad as the cartel. Let me find a good position. Target acquired. Ready to engage. Holding fire on these shitheads. Clear on my side. Pakatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to counter his support in the future. Fire, fire, fire. Okay, fire. Escort vehicle is destroyed. Escort has been destroyed. Their lieutenant's running away. Objective secure. Let's clear out. We'll pass word to the rebels to come get the radio gear. Pack, this is Nomad. The convoy is secure. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. My people will make good use of those supplies. My people are searching for La Yuri y El Polito, but in the meantime, there is something else you can do for us. I have prepared a speech for the people of Bolivia. It is a call to arms that we will broadcast from Itaqua. Santa Blanca's gonna send troops to shut that down as soon as they hear the transmission. You see my problem? I need someone dependable to find a radio transmitter and protect it until the broadcast is complete. Okay, Katari. We'll get it done.
Shit, we got company. I got a narco over here. Drone is there. I don't see him. Next to the soccer field. Got eyes on a cartel supply <laughs> chopper. Let's hijack it and divert its payload to the rebels instead. Roger that. Move it. Target acquired. Kill confirmed. Moving to position. I need a better position. Target marked. Ready to fire. That guy's history. Look alive, we got company. There are a lot of light switches up here. All right, we're good. Let's go, let's go. Fucking hoot. Nothing like swiping a helicopter to bring a day into focus. There's a cartel medal over here. It's gonna break some poor thug's heart to lose this. You think Santa Blanca gives out a lot of these? Searching this location for intel. Got some hostile activity. I got one narco. Point him out. 
on the bridge. This shows where we can find a deactivated rebel radio transmitter. We should go put it back on the air. Pakatari's got some brass ones, I'll give him that. Give that, that fucker an inch and he'll take a mile. If he can get us to Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. On me. Copy that. Move there. Copy that. I need you there. Roger. We got a couple of narcos. In position, targets marked. Just say the word. Rally up, people. Roger that. Who's there? Copy. Target set, ready to assault. Frag out, get some. Fire. Roger that. Engage Oh, here we go. They've seen us. Clear. How are you guys holding up? We're Nicely wasting done. time, folks. Let's With go. cartel stations on the air, the rebels will be able to move into the area.
good to go. Get the next antenna. Hustle. Don't let up. Cutting those cartel comms ought to give the rebels some more balls. Think I can wear this with my Class A uniform? <laughs> 